de race om plaats 1 tot en met 6. Golden race. There's Christina Vogel, who is going for what would be an all-time record 12th World Championship gold medal. She's up against Simona Krupetskaita. She was the Kieran champion of the world back in 2010. Shana Braspenix from the Netherlands making it through. She won a silver medal in the uh, team sprint here this week as well. Braspenix, a really fast rider once she gets up to full speed. And there uh, also is Nikki de Grendeler, who finished very strongly in the semi-final for Belgium. And the Dutch also represented by Lorien van Riesen as well. Two riders in this event really can change things, actually. Uh, they're supposed to ride individually, but uh, you'll often find that there's a gap left and things like that. The one we haven't had a chance to mention, who we haven't seen on the screen there, is Lee White Tee from uh, Hong Kong. Uh, Lee White Tee, who finished third in the Kirin in the Olympic Games in London. That race won by Victoria Pendleton ahead of Anna Mears. Well, uh, Lee is in this race. She's at the back of the group at the moment. Though girl will want to beat the form that she's on, but Pras Fenick and Van Leeson, they could do something with it. As we've just heard uh, Chris Hoy saying, there's a lot of variables in this event. It isn't always the fastest person that wins. There's just so many different agendas being played out over such a short space of time once the sprint commences. Are the Dutch going to be able to use the fact that they've got two riders in here? It's what the difference between the two Dutch women. The, the one with all the writing on the helmet, that's uh, Brass Penix. And also Van Riesen is wearing white gloves. She is uh, third in line. So Brass Penix on the front. Uh, De Grendel a second, Van Ries third, looking anxiously behind her, not surprised with Krupetskaita and Christina Vogel there and Lee. So the three big favourites are at the back at the moment. Look at the gaps that they're leaving here. So Van Riesen will be very happy to let the others go ahead and she'll be able to run into the slipstream. It's Vogel that's got work to do at the back. Well, they're all looking and waiting for Christina Vogel. Levi Z is sitting on her wheel at the moment and now Vogel starts to wind it up, but it is still Brass Pennings on the front. De Grendel goes past Van Reason into the lead. Long way round here now for uh, Christina Vogel. Krupetskaiter ahead of her. Levi Z has now got a little bit of an advantage over Vogel as well. She's got plenty to do if she is to retain her title as they take the bell shoulder to shoulder and leading the way. Therefore, the Netherlands is Lorraine Van Reason and Nikki de Grendeler from Belgium goes past. And Levi Z now is in third place. And Christina Vogel is out of it here as they come into the finishing straight and up towards the line. Well, de Grendeler takes it for Belgium. Well, set there in the World Championship final. De Grendeler is the champion of the world and Christina Vogel who has won it for the last two years and already has two gold medals at these World Championships just couldn't be competitive this time. No wonder De Grendeler can't believe it. That is an upset. Oh, very much so. Uh, the Vogel just needed to be aggressive from the outset, get herself into a controlling position, but she chose to wait and wait, and everybody was waiting for her. By the time the sprint started, she just had way too much work to do, height to go around the top and couldn't get there. There's a confirmation of the results. Uh, De Grendela taking the gold. Lee Whitesey from uh, Hong Kong, the silver, and Simona Krupitz-Keiter, the bronze for Lithuania. What a race, and look, she won by a long way. Yeah, she certainly did. I'd like to see the full replay of how she weighed her way through there, but Vogel had three goes to come around the outside, and every time she was taken wide, and it was just too much extra distance for her. Well, Lee White Tse there looks pretty happy with uh, her medal there. She's a former world champion in the 500-metre time trial, and another one for her collection. And the evergreen figure of Krupetskaita there, another world championship medal. She now has 13, twice a world champion, but still performing at the top level late in her career. But what a result 
for the Belgian rider, Nicky de Grendele. Receiving the congratulations there from last year's champion, Christina Vogel. Well, that wasn't the outcome I think most people in the stadium were expecting there to that World Kirin final. And you could see, Chris, couldn't you? As soon as the, the Derny had disappeared, they were all looking and waiting to see what Christina Vogel was going to do. Yeah, her reputation preceded her, I'm afraid, and really got in the way. And that's the joy, I think, of the Kirin, is that uh, the amount of people involved you're not actually sure what's going to happen. And the joy of sport, you're never quite sure who is going to win. In the last one, is the first telling Google. Wanneer de volgende is telling Google, krijgt ze daarvoor 20 punten. Well, no wonder she looks so pleased. That was a fantastic victory. Great excitement in the uh, commentary position alongside ours here with uh, Belgian television. Ladies and gentlemen, we staan aan het laatste onderdeel van deze vijf dagen lange reeks. Een wereldkampioenschap op de baan hier in Apeldoorn in Omnisport. We hebben de afgelopen vijf dagen fantastische sport beleefd. Uh, en ik moet uh, natuurlijk zeggen, nou, ook uh, namens mijn collega's... Sporting response there from uh, Vogel. If she'd managed to win, she would have been alone uh, as the all-time leader in terms of gold medals at the World Championships among uh, women's tracks. 